Welcome to the Creating Wealth and Wellness Podcast. Your hosts, Amanda Kingsley and Tara Masildine, team up to take you on a journey where freedom is cultivated through personal development, where women connect to fuel their futures, and where wealth is created as a byproduct of being well. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Creating Wealth and Wellness podcast with me, Tara Missadine, and Amanda Kingsley. Um, We are so excited. I can't even believe it, Amanda, but we are right now recording the final episode of 2017, our inaugural portion of a year. (laughs) Um, I just can't believe how much time has already gone by and I'm having so much fun and I also can't wait to talk about our topic today because we're going to share with you our goals for this podcast, our goals and vision moving into 2018, um, our second calendar year with you all. So I can't wait to do that. Uh, But before we do, I wanted to actually give a quick shout out to one of our listeners who gave us an amazing review on iTunes. Um, As all of you know who have listened to podcasts, it makes a huge difference to have these reviews and these ratings because it makes our podcast findable by other people who might never have the opportunity to meet us and hear our voices and join this conversation. So I wanted to um, just do a quick shout out to A. Martinez. She says, this podcast is fantastic. Taryn and Amanda are so wise and insightful. Listening to them is like listening to the best of all your friend's advice condensed into 20 minutes. <laughs> and I think that is hysterical. That is the and best review. I know, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. Well, I, that's so hey, good. Hey, Martinez, consider yourself part of our circle of friends. And thank you so much for that generous review. So, Amanda, but you know how we always start our episodes, right? Gratitude. Yeah. Do you want to start? Let's start with our gratitude yeah. week and jump into talking about 2018. I'll start. Um, Christmas is, for so, so many reasons, one of my very favorite, it might be my favorite holiday. I'm just going to go with that. It's my favorite holiday. (laughs) And so um, my big gratitude is for living in a place that I have super easy access to a real tree. (laughs) I love the whole process of like finding the tree and cutting the tree and putting the tree on the car and coming home. And it's just, and then the smell and vacuuming up the needles. And so what I'm thinking really is that I'm so grateful I live in a place where that's easy and accessible because um, there's a lot of places where it's not. So. Yeah, totally. That's, that's a good one. I, there's nothing like the smell of a I, fresh cut pine tree. Right? So when we put our, you know, you bring it in the door or the window, however you do it, and it obviously you lose some needles. <laughs> and I had the vacuum out in like two seconds. And my husband was like, you can't wait to vacuum those up, can you? <laughs> Not because I wanted to clean the mess, but because it like puts the smell into the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> so good. That is pretty awesome. So now you have like potpourri vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I I will share my quick gratitude. Um, I am grateful. This is another like sort of person, but it's a selfish person one. (laughs) Um, I am grateful for my sister-in-law and very best friend, Joelle Misseldine, who is an amazing tattoo artist. And I, as you know, have an affinity for tattoos. And I am getting a sister tattoo with her and my other sister-in-law and we've become so close. So I guess it's, it's a multifold gratitude for uh, having Joelle and Sarah and sort of my adopted family. And we've become such close best of friends and, and also sister-in-laws. So um, we're getting a tattoo to celebrate that all three of us today. So I'm super excited. Oh, I'll post pister- pictures. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. She has her own studio. So we're going down to her, um, her tattoo studio and all three of us are getting um, a tattoo. Oh my goodness. And are you all getting the same thing in the same place? We are all getting the same thing. I don't think we're getting it in the same place. Joelle and I each have limited real estate left for tattoos. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So I don't think it's going to be in the same place, but it is the same design. Oh, I can't wait to see. I will post pictures. I will post pictures right on the Facebook page so that everybody listening can take a peek if they want to. That's awesome. How beautiful. Yeah. Okay, cool. So um, I'll, I will be entering my 2018 with another new tattoo. Um, <laughs> what else are we going to be doing in 2018, Amanda? Woo! Uh, first of all, Tara and I sat down at this little cafe patisserie. I don't even know what it was called, but it was just fun. And we got to hang out together and sort of talk about 
our new year and our goals, both personal and together and for the podcast. And so I just want to say, I guess that's another gratitude. <laughs> Thanks for that. It was <laughs> yeah, really thank you. <laughs> you bought my blueberry tart. So thank it you so much again. <laughs> you know, it was just super fun. And it's so important when you're participating in anything, um, family, life, business, um, a blog, a podcast, to really think, give it some amount of thought. I mean, we didn't plan it out in super, super detail, but we went a good ways into what do we want 2018 to look like and how are we going to lay it, lay it out? What feelings do we want to add? What, um, what experience do we want to add for the listener? And it just was a really lovely thing to do long before new year. So it wasn't like we were scrambling in January of 2018. Like, what are we going to do this year? And it just feels so good to go into the new year, having some sense of what it will look like. I agree. And, and interestingly enough, both of you, uh, you know, you and I are both extremely future vision focused. Um, And this has already been commented numerous times by listeners and friends that we have a really easy banter back and forth. And it could be easy for us to just like kind of wing it every time. And granted, we come into, you know, each, each episode with a prompt and an idea of the conversation we'd like to have. But I've been surprised many times by just being very inspired by things that you say and having the conversation take a completely different turn than I ever expected it to. Um, so I do think that having sort of a framework and, and those ideas of where we want things to go is super important for you and I because we have <laughs> such a comfort level. <laughs> and I have no doubt that we could you know, mention any topic and just roll with it. Um, but we do have very specific visions and goals for this podcast, both what we want it to achieve on behalf of our listeners and for ourselves. And I think having, you know, that that's a big piece of manifestation is being clear on where you're going, right? Totally. Should we throw out some of those things? Like um, one, things we're gonna, one thing we're going to weave into the new year that you can all start thinking about now and please, please, please send us messages Um, but we're going to weave in some listener questions. We want to hear your questions so we can address what's real and what's burning and what's what you're curious about. Like we really want to weave in more of your, um, your participation and we want to answer your questions live on air. So that's one thing we're definitely going to weave into a bunch of our episodes in 2018. Yeah, definitely. And, and this came up um, largely because we started getting some questions online, which is super exciting. And one of our listeners actually gave us a prompt of an awesome topic that um, is already on our list for something we're going to talk about in 2018 together. So it, it's very cool. You guys are our friends, like, you know, Miss Martinez said on the podcast review, you know, this is a circle of friends. So <laughs> let us condense it, but then join the conversation. Um, another thing that we had talked about in our meeting that we want to accomplish in 2018 is to up-level some of the actual production um, and and things that we do with the podcast. So one thing that we're working on is re-recording um, a new intro and outro. We've had a little bit of feedback on that. So we're going to be working on that, right? Oh, I can't wait. I'm super yeah, excited. Me too. Me too. It's going to be a little bit more personal and um, a lot of bit more intentional. So, <laughs> and maybe even some more fun music. So I think we're both liking the way that that's going. And I'm, you'll hear that as of next week's episode. The yeah, first week yeah. of 2018, we'll have the new intro outro. So let us know what you think about that. Um, let's see. Another, uh, another one of these up-leveling things is, you guys, I have had so much like a battle, an existential battle, trying to figure out how to get the show notes to carry through properly. So <laughs> <laughs> you probably, many of you have not even seen the show notes, depending on what platform and everything you, you find this podcast on. Um, but I have vowed that come hell or high water, those show notes will be kick-ass by the time 2018 rolls around. <laughs> Um, and I'm that. even going to try to go back and, and retroactively put them into the existing podcast episodes as well. But, um, you know, keep me posted, everybody. Like, let me know as of the, the first week of January, you better be able to tell me that you find these show notes. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's a really, both the intro, outro, and the show notes are a really great um, lesson, example, uh, showing of how 
we didn't wait for it to be perfect exactly. to go for it, right? Like we had a vision, we had an idea. We could have waited for an intro outro that we just were like totally giddy and excited about. We could have waited until we figured out the show notes. We could have, but we just went for it. And, um, and it's evolving and 2018 is going to be even more amazing. But for anyone who has a project they're thinking about, um, just go for it. Like it doesn't all have to be perfect. You can put in a new intro outro. You can let the show notes appear. It's not, per you know, it's not great that our users can't, <laughs> our listeners can't read the show notes but it's awesome that they can listen to the podcast. <laughs> exactly. And if we waited, I mean, in reality, guys, I have been fighting this battle for I know, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. I have times thought that it was all set <laughs> and it's still not. But you're absolutely right because if we if we had waited until it was perfect, we're we're on episode 16 right now. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. episodes would not exist or be live. None of these conversations would have happened yet. Um, so I'm just, I'm so grateful that I have a partner and a co-host like you that is willing to just, you know, who was it? Was it, it might be a Simon Sinek quote. And if I'm wrong, anybody who knows, please feel free to correct me. Um, but he said, if, if you wait until it's perfect, you waited too long. You know, if you, if you wait Definitely. to ship until it's perfect, you waited too long. Um, and I totally believe that. So it's sort of like rowing a boat downstream. You don't, the boat has to be in the water to make any kind of course corrections. You can't correct your course from the shore. So love it. Yeah. Well, uh, you took a jump start on another thing we're going to do more of in 2018, which was review shout out. So we really do read your reviews. We love your reviews. We appreciate them. And um, we want to make sure you're all hearing them. So we're going to sparkle or sparkle. We're going to sprinkle. <laughs> oh, I like sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> we're going to sprinkle a few into the actual podcast so that you're all hearing them, not just not just able to read them. We, we just love them so much. Yeah, I, absolutely. I, I totally love them. It warms my heart. And sometimes if I'm having like a, a weird day, because yeah, everybody true confessions. I do listen to my own podcast <laughs> and I love it. I, it's so funny that I hear and pick up on so many different things when I listen, you know, as, as a consumer, um, you know, I hear different things that you say when I'm not thinking about conversing. You know? Well, I was just I thinking, I wonder if we both would listen the same way if it were own, like if we had a non co, if we had a single podcast, right? Like would, you, would we both be as intrigued and excited to listen to our own podcast if it weren't co-hosted? I think well, it's it, so I might fun. still listen to it, but I think I would probably listen to it with different ears. I'd probably be like yeah. looking for, you know, my own personal know, right? back or with like a critical eye or something, yeah. but that's not how I listen to our podcast now. So anyways, hopefully that's not... Uh, hopefully Sometimes you know. I'll listen and I'll be like, how am I going to answer that question? Oh, I did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk about a true, true confession. <laughs> I'm like, huh, what's she going to say? <laughs> <laughs> She's so wise. <laughs> what right, else do we talk about? Um, yeah, there, there's some really exciting things that we are planning on adding to sort of the repertoire of what we talk about. Um, one thing that I'm super excited about is um, really amazing interviews. So we are going to be a little ambitious and we're going to try to get some amazing people on the show who have specialties that we don't have, you know, um, people who can speak to things as experts. Um, you know, Amanda and I are experts on many things. <laughs> but Being ourselves. <laughs> not everything. And I feel like um, a podcast is an amazing platform to attract really awesome talent. Um, so we're going to use that on behalf of all of you and get some really amazing guests on here. And we'll start making announcements uh, to those as they come. And one of the ideas that we had was to uh, sort of let you know what topic we're going to have one of these experts on so that you can ask questions and we can pepper those into our interviews with these people. So I'm really excited about that. I think it's an awesome way of um, sort of granting access because um, we're very blessed. We're very blessed that we'll, we'll have this opportunity and we want to pass a lot of that on to you guys. So to send those questions in, I'd say definitely keep an eye on the social media page, but in terms of Facebook, um, that's really the only place we're using social media. 
at this point, although that brings me to the next thing, but let me finish here first. Um, the Facebook page, and then also watch our newsletters. If you haven't signed up for both of us, um, do have email lists. So send us, make sure you have access to our emails so that you can send us the emails uh, with your questions. But the other social media platform that that triggered for me was um, another goal we have is to integrate some YouTube listening. So yep, totally getting these audios onto YouTube um, so that you can listen there too. Yeah, a lot of and you know we want this to be accessible to as many people as possible, um, and not everybody uses iTunes or listens on a phone, even though that that's the most popular. Not everybody does that. All right. So what were some of the other things that we're excited about in two thousand eighteen? Um, boy, we covered a lot of it. Um, you wouldn't believe the pages think, of notes we have, everybody. Yeah, that's what I'm literally that must be talked about. <laughs> I'm flipping through five pages of notes. But one of the things is that both Tara and I do have programs. We do have um, a lot. Of, we have work that we do that we haven't really talked about a lot on the podcast. So we're going to be integrating more of the ways that, uh, that you can work with us, that you can interact with us. But sort of like Tara mentioned, um, we have expertise in certain areas and we're going to dig deeper into that on the podcast. So you'll be able to hear from each of us, some of the things that really light us up, the things that we love to teach, the things that we love to talk about, the things that we love to, to give to you, the listener, um, as tools that we feel really confident, um, talking about. Mm -hmm. So that was one thing that we haven't really done a lot in 2017. We didn't, um, we didn't dig deeply into, into our more niche passions. Yeah. And we are very passionate about what we do. And <laughs> I, I, for one, can't wait to share with you all in 2000, because 2018 is going to be a really exciting year for me. I've got a lot of really big things happening and um, I think I'm slated to like halfway through January really tell you what I'm up to because it starts in January. <laughs> so I'm super excited. And I know that Amanda actually has, um, Amanda is going to give us all the gift in the new year, the episode that's going to be launched on January 1st. Amanda is going to be sharing with us the core message to a lot of what she does. And it's, it's really powerful. And I, for one, I'm going to be participating in her program and I can't wait for all of you to learn about it and maybe do it right alongside with me. So, um, yeah, I'm, I love that we're going to be doing that. And it, it's interesting to me that it has taken this many months <laughs> for us to be like, well, we haven't even really told people what we do. Like, <laughs> we're having all of these like conceptual conversations. And one of the big visions this year is to dive deeper into all of that. Um, you know, we've had a lot of these sort of overarching topical conversations and less about really specific, deep things. I mean, this this is the year where probably some opinions are going to get a little polarized. You know, the deeper, <laughs> the deeper you dive into things, the more, you know, the more comes up. We actually had an amazing conversation on Facebook. Um, you know, it was, it was brief, but very in depth. I was really impressed. Um, Michelle Lyman, who, um, has been a, a listener to our podcast and a diehard fan from the very beginning, um, made some really awesome kind of challenging comments about our comparison episode. Um, and we did get to have a, an awesome little back and forth. And I hope that that happens more often because, um, quite honestly, Amanda, Amanda's reply to this comment opened my eyes even a little bit further to what I had said. So she made some awesome points. If you haven't seen that conversation, do pop into Facebook and, and take a look and let us know what you think. Because um, Michelle did. That was our ask of that episode. And I, I one of the things I loved about that was it was a good reminder that um, a podcast is, there's our timer, a podcast is just a teeny tiny blip, right? We record mm -hmm. these, our 20 minute timer went off. So we record these just to give like this little nugget of how we think and how we feel, but it's so much deeper. And it was yeah. a good reminder that um, even, I even hesitated and I took a long time to, I read what you wrote and I was like, yes, I love working with Tara. And then I took a long time to answer myself because I thought, 
I just want to have a conversation with Michelle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was a good reminder of the limitations of podcast listening and even social media posts. And, um, and it was a good reminder to me that this is why Tara and I both do a lot of one-on-one -on -one work with people. It's why we dig deeper uh, with our audience because there's only so much you can do in a podcast or a Facebook post. Um, but I really, really appreciated Michelle for sharing her thoughts, and I'm excited for more of that. Me too. And I, I will also add that for me, it was also a great reminder that, you know, our lives and our feelings and our belief, even our belief systems are not stagnant or finite. And they they expand every time we welcome that conversation. So that's that's why we are here, is because it's always expanding and growing. And, you know, so even the impulsive things that I say on this podcast are not the end all be all and 100% completeness of what I believe. <laughs> so feel free to help open my eyes if you need to. <laughs> Michelle, well, I mean, that's why we're having these conversations, right? Yep, exactly. It's as good for us as it is for anyone else. We're just digging in. We're like, all right, let's get these words out of our mouths and see how they really feel. See how, what the next evolution of it is and where it will lead to. And that's also why we listen to our own podcast. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I always hear something new. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, so I, I am so excited and I hope that you all are of really doing what Amanda said and digging in, in 2018. That's what, that's what we are going to do. We're going to go several layers deeper on everything that we've done and try to do it even better for you all so that um, this is a sustainable and awesome community that we're building a project. So thanks all for being here. Please do stop in on Facebook, check out that conversation, add your voice to the mix. And um, we will see you next week when Amanda shares a really awesome, very personal podcast that will totally help shape the rest of your year. Um, so we'll see you next week. And I hope everyone has an amazing holiday. Thanks for joining us for another episode. If you haven't already done so, please do us the honor of leaving a rating and review on iTunes and check in with us on social. Amanda Kingsley is a work from home mother of three. Her mission is to free parents from financial stress so they can spend more time being present with their children. Learn more at her website, thewhyhive.com. Tara Masildine is a passionate entrepreneur, founding several businesses over the last 15 years. She's currently living the adventure of being a CEO, mom, and collaborative coach. Find her at allin.life.